It's a case that's left the Opelika community with questions for six years. We need to find out her name, we need to give her a proper burial, and we need, we need to settle this case. Who is baby Jane Doe and who is responsible for her death? Somebody knows something. Just come forward. Again, it's the right thing to do. It's the decent thing to do, and that's what we're asking for. Police believe this photo taken at Greater Peace Baptist Church is their baby Jane Doe. From the church picture, the Alabama Law Enforcement Agency has drawn up these two new sketches to help determine who she is. I find it hard to believe that no one in Opelika knows who this child is, who went to a church here in Opelika a small city of 25,000 people, and no one knows who a one-eyed black female child is. Nowhere in the city of Opelika. I find that hard to believe. DNA testing has determined that she is from the southeast, and police say where she was found, only someone who lived in the area would know. Whoever did this to this child lived in this trailer park and is from the area. This area is not someone where an outsider would stumble upon, find, and dump a body at. The problem they are having with this case is they can't find anything on her. No birth certificate, school records, or fingerprints. They do know, though, she was severely malnourished and abused before her death. It's going to take someone watching this news conference or seeing her picture and getting the courage to, to pick up the telephone to say something. The governor's office now offering a $5,000 reward for anyone with information. So they are asking if you have anything, please come forward.